चलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम ओब्रे फ्रांसिस एंड आई एम योर इंग्लिश लिटरेचर टीचर आई एम गोइंग टू टीच क्लास फाइव टू डे बिफोर आई कुड स्टार्ट दी लेसन आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क यू फ्यू क्वेश्चंस डू यू नो हु इन्वेंटेड दी टेलीफोन ये दी आंसर इज ग्रहण दर्श Another question: Do you know who invented the electric bulb? Yes, correct. The answer is Edison. Okay. Similarly, today our topic in English literature is the invention of shoes. So let us see who has invented shoes. Which I am going to explain today. That is the invention of shoes by Rabindranath Tagore. So let us start. Once upon a time, there was a king called Hoo. One morning, he summoned his minister and said, "Listen, Hoo Rai, I stayed up all night thinking, why should the dust dirty my royal feet whenever I step?" On the ground. So once upon a time, this is a story. Actually, this is not somebody who had invented the shoe, but this is a story actually based on this. So once upon a time, there was a king, and his name was Ho. So one morning, suddenly, he summoned for his minister. Summoned me to call. He called for his minister, and his name was Gobura. He said, "I stayed up all night thinking, why should the dust dirty my royal feet?" So he is a king over here, and therefore he called the minister and told him, "Minister, you know, why should the dust dirty my feet? I am the king. All you people, you are only concerned with pocketing your fat salaries, and only you are." Concern with your salaries. You are not bothered about my feet. My feet is being dirty by dust. And you, minister, you are not taking care of this. You are only concerned with your salary. You have no concern for the king, or the kingdom, or the problems that bother me. Therefore, we are the king of India. You are having a problem. The problem of that. His feet is being dirty by dust, and therefore he wants his ministers and other people in the kingdom to take to take care of this. Therefore he said, "You must put an end to this at once. So stop this. You must put an end to this immediately, or else no one shall be spared from my royal throne." And therefore. If this problem is not solved at once, all of you will be fired. You will have problems. Therefore, try to solve my problem as soon as possible. Wrath means anger. The king will get angry, and therefore <coughs> there will be a dangerous consequences. Let us proceed now. Goburai wondered and worried. He pondered. And was fired. So we are seeing Gopura the minister. After getting this order from the king, he started to what do you call this? A ponder. He started to think. He started perspiring. Naturally, the king is the head of the kingdom, and the king has given him an order. He started. He was totally frightened over here. 
therefore he started to perspire now what should he do in order to solve the king problem <coughs> pondered means thought about the problem deeply the pandits faces turn pale the courtiers night turn seat sleepless in the kitchen the cooking stopped in the castle the crime started so everybody in the kingdom everybody is having now they are fighting to be the pandits pandits means the learned people the brahman they were face turned pale means they were worried now pale means they became the became whitish in color the courtiers night turned sleepless people were having problem now anyhow they need to solve the problem of the king they had sleepless nights in the kitchen too the cooking stopped and in the castle the crime started so i hope so clear all of you have understood the paragraph which i have taught to till so let us proceed gopura i took far and wide and gathered all the scientists and learned men all the scholars and mechanics he could find so gopura was here in order to solve the problem he started searching for people far and wide far and wide means all over the places this is a fair actually the far and wide and therefore he gathered scientists learned men scholars mechanics and he called all of them and he told them see this is the problem which you need you need to solve now therefore please give me advice so that we can solve the king problem or else we need to face the consequences they pushed their glasses up their noses and sat down to find a solution to the royal problem so people started to ponder they start to think all of them sat down and they started pushing the glasses up and down meaning they started to think deeply and they wanted a solution the royal problem royal means to be referred to the king after thinking long and deep the long and deep is that they started thinking continuously maybe for 5 minutes 10 minutes or maybe half an hour and after that they said if you do away with the soil how will you grow crops so this was the solution put forward by the people the learned men the scholars the mechanics they told the king if we do away with the soil how will you grow crops the king replied if you cannot figure out how then of what use are you then he said if you cannot solve my problem so why are you all of you over here i am paying you fixed salary and you cannot solve the problem all of you will be fired so based on this explanation i would like to give you certain notes so all of you please take out your copies and jot down the notes which i am going to write on the This is number one, my friends.
So this is reference of uh, reference number one. If you cannot figure out how, then of what use are you? So this is the reference. The question based on this question number one. So question number A. So the first answer is King Hu said these words to all the scientists, comma all learned men, comma all the scholars and mechanic of his kingdom. So please write this down. So now we we'll proceed towards the next question. That is question number B. These are small questions so that you understand the chapter systematically. You don't have any problem. Answer number three. Question is, what was the king's problem? Answer: The king did not want the dust to dirty his royal feet. We can write it in another way also. The king's problem was that he did not want the dust to dirty his royal feet. 
See, this is the answer which I am giving you. You can write it in your in your own words also. That will also be right. But it has to be according to the context of the chapter. Whom did the king call to summon? This is a simpler word in, for summon actually. Who did the king call to solve his problem? Would he write the name of the person? Write it. 